Many of you know that I believe Tesla's ultimate goal is to become the largest distributor of energy worldwide. In other words, to become like the new version of Exxon Mobil. The future of the world is not fossil fuel. It's electricity, solar, wind, and battery storage. And selling your energy back into the grid. Tesla makes a little profit from you making a virtual power plant. You make profit, Tesla makes a profit, everyone wins. This is the future of the energy market. Tesla wants to capitalize on this and it's bringing out newer batteries so you and Tesla can make more money together. We've just learned that Tesla have a brand new power wall called the Power Wall 3. It's 50% bigger than the Power Wall 2 and it's amazing because now instead of having to buy two batteries, you could probably just buy one and save yourself some money. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you. Let's say a big shout out and a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate everything you do. And also everyone else who has supported the channel this year, whether that be from my wife's cancer campaign. She has stage four cancer and it's it's been a pretty good challenge for us to deal with that this year. Um, so thank you so much for supporting us in so many ways. I really appreciate that. I'm personally a big fan of the Tesla Powerwall. Tesla has brought the prices down over the years. It is very cost competitive with other products from other manufacturers. Personally, I think when it comes to electric cars, there's lots of compelling and good options. Yeah, if you don't buy a Tesla, that's totally fine with me. If you buy an MG4, great. All power to you, that's a great car. BOD Addo 3, very good car. See how I said great for the MG4? I'd get the MG4 over the 803. But anyhow, there's quite a few electric car models that I think are really, really good. Depends on your budget, your price, etc. When it comes to home batteries, I don't recommend anything except the Tesla Powerwall. Except for BYD's new Blade battery. If you want to see details about that, which are a little bit scarce at this point in time, I'll have a new video coming soon. But I do have a new video showing you the new Blade battery from BYD, which is actually very similar to Tesla's Powerwall. But the Powerwall 3 is much bigger than the Powerwall 2. If the reports are to be believed, it's 50% bigger, which is, well, insane. Now, one of the big benefits of the Powerwall 2, not the Powerwall 3, is the fact that Tesla started using lithium ion phosphate cells. The batteries will more, more than likely last longer than previous versions. And the Powerwall 3, of course, will also use lithium ion phosphate cells. More than likely, those are from CATL. So I'd say what happens is CATL manufacture those in China. And they send them to Tesla, where they're basically repackaged in their factory in Las Vegas. And they're basically repackaged into Powerwalls in Tesla's factory in Nevada. Now, Tesla does have a new Megapack battery facility they're manufacturing in China, which will probably make power walls there as well. Getting back to the Powerwall 3, the latest version of the home battery pack is said to have an output of 11.5 kilowatt. The product has been reportedly certified by several electric utilities across the United States, confirming that as the power output. And this indicates Tesla's preparation for the release of this new version. Now, apart from that, we don't know. Is it going to be more expensive than the previous model? Absolutely. You're not going to increase the size by 50% and not change the price. More than likely, what will happen is this. You'll still be able to buy the Powerwall 2. You'll also be able to buy the Powerwall 3. The Powerwall 3 will just be more expensive because it's much bigger. Now, right now, you can actually buy a Powerwall called the Powerwall Plus. And that has a maximum power output of 9.6 kilowatts. This new version has a maximum power output of 11.5 kilowatt. So that's around a 20% increase versus the Powerwall Plus. But compared to the Powerwall 2, it's around 50% bigger. However, there's a little bit of confusion here. There's a document saying that the Powerwall 3 has a maximum continuous power on grid of the Powerwall Plus being 7.6 kilowatt. So we're not exactly sure here. It's, not, it's sort of a big, bit of confusion from all the different people who've reported on this on exactly what the specifications would be. I believe it will more than likely be the 11.5 kilowatt that people are claiming. 
During the first quarter of this year, Tesla revealed its energy generation and storage segment grew an incredible 148% year over year. That was after increasing 90% in Q4 alone. Energy storage is booming for good reason. The prices of these batteries are lower than they used to be. The quality is better than it used to be. The software is incredible. Now remember, this, these prices here, it's not just a battery by itself. If you go buy a battery by itself, and you can for other companies, you can buy Chinese batteries, you can buy South Korean batteries, you can buy various different batteries made in various places. In fact, you can even buy batteries made in North America. In North America, that's another option as well. But when you do that, you do have to consider how does that work as a system? How does it tie into the grid? What other parts do I need to order? I actually think it's easiest to simply buy a Powerwall from Tesla they do it very well. They've sold a lot of them. In fact, more than 300,000 worldwide. An interesting thing is here, this is essentially what Tesla predicted. Elon Musk said, our energy division will grow faster than our automotive division. That's exactly what's happening. In fact, it's growing much, much faster. Why is it growing so fast? Because Tesla are prioritizing it. The key reason they're prioritizing it is because they sell it to you and make a little bit of a profit but then in the future, they're hoping to make more profit from you, whilst you make profit from the grid. It's genius, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.